Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 44 of Book 1, which gives us the instructions on how to draw a parallelogram with the following conditions. We have a triangle, we have an angle, and we have a given line segment And this proposition describes how to construct a parallelogram on the line segment that contains the angle that we've already defined and is equal in area to the original triangle. So this is a rather long construction, so it's going to take a bit of patience, but we'll get through it. Let's begin. First, we're going to start with our triangle, our given angle, which I'll call delta, and our given line segment, which I call AB. Now, the first thing we need to do is to construct a parallelogram equal in area to our triangle C. And we're doing this using the methods described in Proposition 42. Now, it takes a little bit of time, but we we'll just have to have a bit of patience. Round and round she goes, lots of circles. Almost there. So now we have a parallelogram that is equal in area to our triangle. Carrying on, the next thing we need to do is to copy this parallelogram to this line segment. So the first thing we're going to do is to extend line AB and copy this parallelogram onto the line AB. Now this is a multi-step process, so the first thing we're going to do is draw this line to BE. Next I'm going to copy the angle at point B. Next, I will copy the shorter side of our parallelogram on this line from point B. Create parallel lines against these GB and GE. Find the intersection and connect the dots. So now this parallelogram is equal in area to our triangle. So now we're going to draw a parallel line of GB through point A. Extend FG to our line, call it point H. Now we're drawing a diagonal through the parallelogram GHAB and extend it all the way out so it crosses the extension of the line FE. And now we will complete our diagram by extending HA, GB, and constructing a parallel line through K parallel to AE. So first we construct our parallel line, and we now extend the rest of these lines. So this large parallelogram is, well, a parallelogram. And HK is the diagonal of that parallelogram. And the, pi, and the proposition states that if you follow these instructions, the area of the triangle is going to be equal to this parallelogram on line segment AB and containing the angle delta. So how do we prove that this construction is valid? Well, first, we buy our construction methods using the methods defined in Proposition 42. These two areas are equal. Now to prove that our point K actually exists, FE and HA are parallel, 
so consequently the angle alpha and beta is equal to the sum of two right angles. And since HB gives us an angle epsilon which is less than beta, alpha plus epsilon is less than 180 degrees and according to postulate 5 that means that FE and HB will meet at some point if the lines are extended. So there we've demonstrated that K is a point that actually exists. Now again, this whole parallelogram is bisected by this diagonal HK. So consequently, these two complements, as shown by Proposition 43, are equal in area. And finally, since we copied the angle delta to GBE, and these two angles are vertical angles of each other, then ABM is also equal to our original angle delta. So here we have demonstrated how to take a triangle, a given angle, and a given line segment, and to construct a parallelogram equal in area to our triangle containing the angle delta along this line segment AB. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.